it's a matter of record that Nazi forces took possession of all the treasures of the museum, including the spear. They were placed in safekeeping in an underground bunker. But a number of conspiracy theorists writing on the subject of the Nazis and the occult go much further. The story goes that Hitler was desperate to make the spear his own. Hitler is said to have had a complete obsession with the spear, made a beeline for the uh, Kuntischerstorische Museum when the Anschluss allowed him to come in and take Vienna. One of the first things he did was to head to the museum and take possession of the spear. And there's this very powerful sense that the lance is absolutely fundamental to Hitler's yearning for power. There is an urban myth that at the end of the war, at the very moment when the spear fell back into Allied hands, Hitler, 300 miles away in Berlin, took his own life. Some of this stuff is taken very seriously by those who believe that the spear does indeed have magic powers and was indeed used by the Nazis as some kind of weapon. The problem is, it's certainly false. It's, of course, absolute nonsense. We know that the spear was only recovered in January 1946, months after Hitler's death. The legend was created that the, this holy lands was kind of a symbol, was kind of a, of, of, of a relic for Hitler himself. But what was created only later on is pure legend. The Hitler story was clearly inspired by that of Charlemagne. What both tales prove is that the spear does at least possess a power to capture the imagination and generate myth.